Here's how to get custom texture packs for Minecraft 1.21.7. Let's go. So the first step is to actually select the texture packs that you want to download. I went ahead and put together 10 of what I consider to be the best free texture packs for Minecraft, but feel free to find around the web whichever texture packs you want. Just make sure you download them from a safe site like ModRinth or CurseForge. If you want to follow along this video, however, I'm going to leave you this link down below in the description, which like I said, are the top 10 best free texture packs for Minecraft. Now, once you're here, or if you got your own site to download the texture packs, don't worry. The process is going to be pretty similar. Let's say that you want to download, for example, bare bones or whatever texture packs you're choosing. Go ahead and download the texture pack first. That'll be the first step. Of course, once you're in the download page for that texture pack, make sure you select 1.21.7 or the most recent version. Sometimes they won't have the latest update, but you might find 1.21.5 and so on. Now, once you select your version, go ahead and hit download here, and then the download will begin for the texture pack right away. You're going to find that texture pack in your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. So just open your file explorer, search up downloads, and you should find it in there. Now, once you have downloaded that file, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop this is going to make things easier. And if you pay attention in here, this is a zip file or a compressed file, but don't worry, we don't have to unzip it. Let's go ahead and add it to the game. Go ahead and open your Minecraft. And of course, while Minecraft opens, there's some texture packs that you might be trying to use online, like the X-ray texture pack, which are not legal to be used on public servers. You might get banned. So if you want to have your texture packs without any issues, just make sure you create a server using the first link in the description with Apex hosting. The first 25 people to sign up not only will be supporting the channel, but will get 25% off when making their server. And of course, if you're using your own texture pack in your own server, you can't be banned because you're the owner. So just letting you know, do not use illegal or not allowed texture packs on public servers because you might be banned. Keep in mind, this is only for educational purposes. Again, that link is going to be down there in case you want to create your server with Apex hosting. Now, once you're inside Minecraft, to add a texture pack is actually really easy. You want to go ahead and load a world. It could be a single player or a multiplayer world. And then all you have to do is go ahead and press escape, head over to options, and then head over to resource packs right here. That'll put you in the resource pack page where you most likely don't have any resource packs. I have a lot of them, but you most likely don't have any here. And all you have to do, guys, is make your game a little bit smaller and then just go ahead and drag and drop your texture pack that you downloaded the zip file into the game into the available side in here after you drag and drop it and in this case i'm using bare bones after you drag and drop it it's going to ask you do you want to allow this mod pack just go ahead and press yes now sometimes when you go ahead and press yes it's going to say this mod pack was made for an older version are you sure just go ahead and press yes still because like i said most of the time it will actually work with the newest version now once you add your mod pack you're gonna see here on the available side all you have to do is press this arrow right here which is gonna place it on this side and then go ahead and press done give it a couple seconds for you to and as you will see in just a couple seconds, now you will have some texture pack added. I added the bare bones, which make the game look like the trailer. And if you pair this texture pack with some shaders, like for example, complementary reimagined shaders right here that I just turned on, you will see that this texture pack looks beautiful and the game actually looks like the trailer. But there you guys have it. That's how to add texture packs. And if you want to take them off, just head back to that resource packs menu right here on options and then just put the texture pack back onto this side, hit done, let it load again, and then the game will be back to normal. Except I'm using shaders right now, but I could turn them off real quick. And there you have it. That is how to enable and disable texture packs in Minecraft 1.21.7. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to add some cheaters to make your game look extra nice, like I just did right now, you could go ahead and watch this video that is coming up right now. Anyways, thank you for watching.